in the elite men's race. You see the guys are in the grid. They have slotted in the first few rows. Some of the favorites coming into the day today. I want to start with Kerry Warner. I think he's got a good shot at a good result today, Tim. He is one of those riders you just look at and you know that they're hungry to do something special. He's got skills, he's got talent, he's got all those things. Putting it together today, not just a podium, maybe a jersey. So what are we going to have? Colombia, Ethiopia, Artie, or Ethiopia, Yergesha? This is how I try to eliminate the zero waste. Hearing completion. Coming into the season, you think you're ready. You put all the base in, do all the intervals. In the back of your head, you're thinking, how much work do these other guys do? The next carrot is nationals. I really want to win. What I do now is what I carry through the last five races of the year. Being ready is being excited about getting on your bike every day. If I can do that, then I'll have put in all the work and didn't have to think about it. I also have these guys, they're all fast, and we get together every now and then and map out across the loop and we'll for some shorter efforts. It's always fun, the camaraderie aspect. But we all know why we're out there. I've always had an especially supportive community. Friends and family that have been there every step of the way. People that really want to see me do well. That's a whole different kind of motivation to know that I have people that believe that I'm going places. I'll find out if I'm ready in Reno. I don't come from a racing background, so my tactical knowledge is all learned kind of secondhand. We'll talk once he gets an idea of the course. I just try to be more of a sounding board, you know, and just asking, asking the right questions just to make him more comfortable on whatever course. Unless we're talking about changing tire tread or tire pressure, or there's actually like a flat or a mechanical. It's ideally not pitting. You do look good, Doug. What time are you on course? 11.45. Last year, I wasn't where I am now. I've had a good year. A lot of where I have flaws with is in the tighter races. I'll put some efforts in, in the middle of the race, in places where I shouldn't have, and then I get out kicked the last half lap. I want to get on the front and just chew on my stem, put people in the box, but we're all too closely matched fitness-wise. Now on the women's single speed. First call for staging. Guess what my call is for single speed? One. Yes. <laughs> Last year, I remember running around when she won the Collegiate Nationals, sprinting back and forth on course to cheer for her at different spots. Eight seconds left. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. in graduate school and to see her manage all that time and the stress and still do well, that was really sweet. In third place for Hearts Racing, Emily Shields. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Are these going to need pins? No, I have some. Just to make it easier to pin. To make it more local with my guns. Except I probably need like a big nail pin or something, you know? Oh, dude, this is the warm-up headband. When you see me warming up in this thing, you're gonna be like, Steve, I do. Last year was kind of disappointing because I was in second until the last two laps. And then Jamie called me and passed me and I was just watching him all race. I have to think, don't burn too many matches, have a good start, get in the front group. Nationals, you're not just gonna go off the front. Playing those races more like a game, especially when it's a bit of a pack race. Second overall, the US Cup CX, Gary Werner. He's definitely a rider that we're going to have to fancy someone to finish off in the podium and maybe even push for a lap. Recently called Gary Werner Mr. Consistency. Bronze last year at the Second Cross Nationals, taking several wins. DCCX this year, Rochester as well. You can't count out somebody like Gary Wood. Warner just showing early signs of weakness here, just some small gaps opening up. 
You never want to be the guy hanging on to the back and yo-yoing back and forth, but Gary Warner absolutely has the ability to recover. Couldn't it be the year for Jeremy Cowan? It's now down to three on the front with Kerry Warner trying to make it four. Warner is desperately trying to get onto the wheel of Tobin Norton Black. Well, Norton Black has got to recover. He can't look over and see Warner right there because that's not going to help him. He has to get back to the front. Norton Black has now dropped back to fourth place. Warner, he's going to end up third place on the day today. Great ride for Kerry Warner. We had the live feed up, so we were watching everything. Oh, it was stressful to watch. It was kind of stressful to be a part of it. Don't tell me that was out! I was like, tell me I! I expected to not get on the podium, and then Tobin fell off the back of that group, and the fire revved up, battling back. I was, I was really happy with that. Third is not first, but at the same time, to be able to manage my race and still have a result like I did today was really encouraging. It lets me know that where I go from here is up.